Day 11 of Annie's two-week board and train, working high distraction dog park. Heel, sit, and wait commands. When arriving at a high distraction destination for training, you'll want to start out at a distance away from the dog park fence. Most dogs arrive at a dog park in a state of overexcitement. By decreasing this overexcited state of mind, it helps your dog to enter the fenced in area in a calmer state of mind. This increases the chances of your dog assimilating with the dogs that are already there. Long sit with loose dog coming past. Coming up in the next video segment is Annie's heel and sit, but notice how she is fearful of this man art object under the park pavilion. She has difficulty staying on task and actually wants to move away from this object. This would be an area for desensitization and counter conditioning with this art object in the future. Because of Annie's unpredictability in terms of fear of objects in different environments, along with her tendency toward flight behavior, she is not a good candidate to be off of a physical leash. This is heel and sit. 
Notice how she is walking too far behind me in terms of the formal heel position. Her shoulders should be aligned with my left leg. She is hanging back, obviously, because she is afraid of the art object. Training has allowed her to stay on task and not totally pull to the end of the leash, dragging me away from the object. Notice her fearful behavior as we pass this sliding pole with the black bag over it. Notice how she's hanging back. Notice how her tail is held low. By walking back and forth and passing the light pole for several minutes, notice how her body language has improved. She has had some desensitization to the light pole. We've moved to a different park. Annie is dragging a 15-foot leash for recall, sit, wait, place, and free. Annie, come. Sit. Annie, place. Annie, come. She's focused on a runner that is up on the sidewalk. Annie, please. Annie, come. Sit. Annie, please. Off leash recall, sit, wait, place, and free. Any free?